Right, module questionnaire. Thank you for those of you who um, contributed at the um, uh, the questionnaire. Um, mixed bag as ever. Um, only 43 percent um, of so 80 something out of 202 of you completed it. So some very nice comments for those of you who took the time to write very nice comments or to write any comments at all. Thank you, and not dwell on the nice comments. Uh, hang on, let me just change this so it shows all. But I will pick up on some of the um, more critical thing. Uh, uh, right, um, so here's the first one. Oh, I forgot my big point. I was going to bring my big pointer today. Um, an office hour would be nice. I, I, I've lost count of the number of times I've said, Email me, email me and we'll organize a time to meet. That's much better for you, much more flexible for you, much more flexible for me than having a set office hour. Because I know what will happen if I set up a set office hour. I'll sit in my office, hopefully answering a few emails, and nobody will turn up. Because I've done that before. So, I would, in terms of an office hour, um, last week I, with, with Quantum World students, I probably spent six hours in total. Okay, so mo far and above an office hour, so just wanted to nail that one. Um, yeah, so this is interesting. This person is um, um, making the point about the workload and first semester or second year, not just this module, I've made this point before, workload's high. It is high. However, for those of you on the um, master's, Wait until you hit fourth year. Um, you have a lot of deadlines in fourth year. Um, clear learning outcome. So I don't quite, I've never been a fan of learning outcomes in terms of tick, tick, tick. What I'm doing is trying to give you um, the material in a number of different formats because all of us learn in different ways. Um, I have a list of chapters I do. I think I missed out one week. But I think in the emails I send around, I say this refers to this section of the notes. Moreover, the videos in the notes are linked directly under the section headings in the, the, in the notes themselves. It links to the videos. So it is, it is integrated. Um, you do, uh, this does happen, and indeed, even on the Moodle page, it's broken down both in terms of the worksheets and also the videos in terms of the um, a week by week basis. Yeah, this is, this is a common theme, and this was a common theme last year. I, I've got a curriculum to get through. All of the um, other module conveners have got their curricula to get through. Um, we have IOP accreditation. There are things we've got to teach you to have that accreditation. There are things you've got to know as a physicist, and unfortunately, they all converge. A lot of the core fundamentals converge in this semester and second year. Yes, the worksheets are essential, um, but if you are not doing e every question and every worksheet every week, don't worry about that. If you look at the worksheet, you have an attempt at the questions, you find that the, just, you don't, can't solve one, don't waste hours and hours and hours. We will come back to those questions and you might find that something later on in the module will help you address a question in third of week three or week four. So spend a little bit of, what I want you to do is spend a little bit of time going, oh, Oh, that's what the questions are like. I thought I understood this stuff, but when I actually have to sit down and do a problem, I realize I don't really understand elements of it. That's what the worksheets are there for, and that's what the problems are there for. If you can get through those problems, great, but don't, don't stress a great deal about not completing every part of every worksheet every week. Um, so, <laughs> I like the idea of occurrence development, but it would be good to go into a bit more of the maths. So I've swamped you with Fourier analysis. You've swamped with Dirac delta functions. We've got discrete and continuous basis sets. Um, we've got Fourier's trick everywhere. We've got um, integrals everywhere. You've got operators. You've got emission operators. You've got eigenvalues, eigenfunctions. How much more maths do you want? In terms of, I don't know who made that point, but this was a point last year as well. Um, Moreover, the reason I'm giving you the concepts is there are countless papers, countless studies 
that show that students who go through a very maths heavy quantum course come out the other end really having very little understanding of what quantum is all about. They can do the integrals. They can sit down and do expectation value integrals till the cows come home. And they can do the various aspects of Fourier analysis. I've seen this myself. I used to teach a Fourier analysis module. It was initially quite maths heavy. And students could come out the other side being able to, you know, get the Fourier transfer from a top hat function. Sit down beside them and ask them, well, okay, what happens to the Fourier transform if I narrow that top hat function? Not a clue. Without sitting down and doing the math. So there is a, there is a method behind the madness. And I've had comments last year that it was far too much maths and people were being swamped. So you can't please all the people all the time, but it's important to address these comments. Um, uh, I don't know what else to do in terms of the Fourier analysis. If you can give me, you know, very happy to have emails from you, etc., or feedback of any type as to how better can I couple the Fourier analysis to quantum, because I've, this course starts off with Fourier analysis. I embed it and I show you right at the start that quantum mechanics is basically a, a physics of waves. Therefore, we have to use Fourier analysis. So. Um, that question, I don't quite know. When learning, I was slightly unclear to what a Hamiltonian was, but that you got in first year, in from Newton to Einstein. I can't start from scratch. No lecturer can start from scratch every time. We can't all go all the way back to algebra every time we teach a new module. You've seen the Hamiltonian operator in from Newton to Einstein. And for those of you doing frontiers, you've also seen it in there. We start, it's also described at length in the notes. There's a whole ch chapter on operators. But this was covered before as form of the sum of the kin kinetic and potential energy. I know not everybody's made that comment, but... Okay. Yeah, another question about the time and the workload. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? So, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Which is fine, it's always going to... It's a great, every time I sit down, I don't, I don't, yeah, but the thing is, um, well, first of all, thank you for the kind words, but on that particular question about nothing sticking, when it will stick, it's not you sitting here. You remember, or he was running around the lecture theater and he didn't stand still for two seconds. That's what you'll remember. And certain things might stick in your head. But when the real learning happens, it's when you're sitting down, you're banging your head against that piece of Python code or against the keyboard, or you're trying to do the problems and you're nearly crying in frustration because you can't do it. That's when the learning is happening. So this, is, this really is about engagement. It's, I'm very masochistic in that I love this quantum stuff and I want to try and transfer, get you to feel at least somewhat similar about it, or to at least feel that it's interesting. But are you doing a lot of learning? Maybe in, maybe in terms of the Pingo questions where it's interactive and um, you're thinking about questions you know, on the fly, as it were. I think that there's some learning happening there, but in a traditional sort of just standing at the front and talking to you, I'm unconvinced as to the degree of learning that happens. Ah, right, nearly at the end here. Um, is having the content of the module page sorted week by, but it is. It is, if you go to the Moodle page, it's videos week by week worksheets week by week and then I do my absolute best sometimes I miss off occasionally to um, to make that link with the sections of the notes but I've been doing that reasonably well I think over the last little while but thank you for the overall um, the, the feedback I will take it on board um, I some of the questions I don't or some of the comments I don't quite know how to address but I'll have a think about it but anyway um, thank you for all of you who filled it in very helpful and probably those of you who filled it in are the very people in this room, which is about roughly the number it filled it in.